right. Is everybody ready to start? <coughs> okay. Thumbs up if you're ready. Yeah. Now, we were waiting for the superintendent's thumbs up. He's like the final say. So he's a <laughs> double thumbs up. He's, he's really ready to go. Okay, here we go. Welcome to our 2022 SCOE Classified Employee of the Year nominees virtual reception. We are proud to honor these dedicated employees who perform a wide range of essential services for SCOE. Whether working remotely or in person, classified employees can do it all. Every day they work hard to improve the lives of the students and the families that we serve. In a few minutes, we will meet our nominees, but first, it is my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Dave Gordon, who would like to say a few welcoming words. Superintendent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. And, and, uh, and once again, we have a very impressive group of nominees who are doing outstanding work to support our students, families, programs, and, and most of all, each other. And I think during these difficult times, uh, I'm so pleased and proud to see the level to which our employees have been supporting one another, picking up on things that need to be done and looking out for, for one another during all of these unusual circumstances we face now for, uh, for, more, than, for more than two years. And, and, I, and I just want to start by saying a big thank you to uh, all of those here listening in today and then to all of our all of our employees and i've said it again and again in the videos uh we owe you a lot and 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 we thank you we know how tough it's been uh on the ground and and you deserve uh, you deserve our uh, our respect and appreciation so so with that uh classified employees uh, clearly are a big part of our work at SCOE, and I think it's safe to say we would not be a great organization without our classified employees and the work that they do day in and day out. Uh, keeping our campuses safe, clean, uh, and, and running, supporting our teachers and students, ensuring our employees are provided benefits each month and that they understand their benefits, uh, customer service to help our employees through difficult problems with personnel issues or benefit issues. Uh, whether they work in the background or on the front lines, uh, you, our classified employees, uh, keep us going strong. And, and I know uh, most of you who are nominees this year, and it's an outstanding group uh, of nominees as it has been, and, and I'm very proud of the group that's been uh, been nominated and during the interviews, the interview team has told me the group shared with the interview team uh, their thoughts about what makes great classified employees. One said, it's important to focus on what our students can do, what they bring, their strengths. That we should always look for ways to make our own processes better. Uh, don't take for granted that we're just doing it the right way and that we can improve. Building trust with the people that we serve and with one another as staff people in SCOE. Watching each other, watching out for each other, watching each, having each other's back. And finally, maintaining good working relationships, both among ourselves, but also with the school districts or other outside agencies that we work with. Uh, it's said that most of our work is about relationships in, in our business, and, and really it is. I've, I've learned that. I've learned that over time. And all of these things are what guides guide our nominees in the work that they do. And, and I think uh, they're right on target. With, and, and it's why they're so good at the work that they do. So congratulations to all of you nominees, uh, one and all. And those in the audience, we will meet the nominees uh, a little later in the program. And then I will be proud to announce our 2022 SCOE Classified Employee of the Year. So thank you, Tim. And once again, thank you to our outstanding nominees. You only have to wait a little bit longer to find out to find out who's the classified employee of the year. And Dr. Brown, I just want to give you an opportunity as as one of our as one of our trustees and 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 a great supporter of all of our 
uh, employees an opportunity just to say a word or two if you'd like to. Yes, I would. And I, first of all, I'd like to say I am so proud of all the candidates. That I wish we had five awards to give, but I understand it's really tough. Uh, we support you and everything you do. You have been successful in gaining the trust of the people, the students that you work with and making them a better um, better person to be able to, to succeed at, in, in the careers that they have chosen. And we appreciate as a board, all that you do. And again, congratulations. And thank you, Dr. Brown and the board for all of the support you give uh, to our to our organization and, and to all of our all of our staff members. And with that, I'll throw it back to you, Tim. All right, thank you, Superintendent Gordon, very much. And uh, uh, the superintendent has the magic envelope with the secret name in there, and I don't even think he's opened it up yet. So it'd be a surprise to him too. There it is. So there you go. Um, and we're also joined by uh, Deputy Superintendent uh, Nancy Hirota. Um, Nancy, if you'd like to say a few words, uh, please feel free. Well, we'd just like to reiterate what was shared, how much we appreciate each and every one of you for your hard work in all of the variety of settings that all of you work in. I know many of you, and just again, congratulations to all of you for being nominated. All right, thank you very much, Nancy. So our classified employee of the year selection process is pretty simple. The five SCOE employees that you'll meet uh, in this broadcast were nominated by colleagues and or by their supervisors to serve as SCOE's 2022 Classified Employee of the Year. We held interviews via Zoom on Wednesday, February 16th, and as always, it was a very competitive selection process. So our SCOE 2022 Classified Employee of the Year will be honored as a Sacramento County Classified Employee of the Year. And now I would like to introduce to you Communications Manager Charlene Van Allen. Charlene serves as coordinator for both the Sacramento County Classified School Employee of the Year program, as well as our Teachers of the Year program. So Charlene, please introduce us to all of our nominees. All right, thank you, Tim. This evening, I'm introducing five nominees, but I do wanna take a moment to say thanks to their SCOE colleagues or supervisors who took the time to submit a written nomination because they saw the hard work these nominees we're doing in support of programs. And I'm looking at our number of participants in our meeting this evening, and it looks like all of the nominees are in the, in the wings watching as well. So it's, a, it's fun even though it's virtual. So now for the nominees, after I call your name, please uh, say hello and unmute your mic so that you'll pop up on the screen and we can all celebrate you. And if you have your Zoom settings um, in uh, speaker mode, you'll be able to see uh, each person a little more clearly. Um, so our first nominee this evening is Brittany Young. Brittany's a cook at the Five Park Environmental Education Center. Brittany? Hi, everyone. Brittany's nominator said that she takes her job seriously and always gives over 110% effort. Thanks for joining us this evening, Brittany. Next is Heather Scott. Heather's the infant educator with, special, uh, with a special education department. Heather? Hi, everybody. Thank you. Heather's nominator shared that she is reliable and she is kind, organized, and cares for her families and teammates. Congratulations, Heather. Now let's congratulate Karen Baserto Atterbury, program analyst with the school with the SCOE School of Education. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to my fellow colleagues that are uh, being recognized. Karen's nominator stated, she is a consummate professional and is respected for her professionalism, innovation, and deep knowledge of SCOE systems. Congratulations, Karen. And now let's hear it for Kelvin Weldon, transition specialist with SCBC's reentry program. 
Hello. Kelvin's nomination read, his selflessness and dedication to current and previous clients has had a positive life impact on generations. Congratulations, Kelvin. Thank you. And finally, let's congratulate Tyrone Wynn, also transition specialist with the reentry program. Hello, everyone. Tyrone's nominator stated that he is instrumental in the success of our program with his personal and professional approach to ensure our clients succeed. Congratulations, Kelvin. And congratulations, Tyrone. Congratulations to all of our nominees. We have beautiful signed certificates for each of you that have been mailed to your home address. So be sure to watch for them this week. Back to you, Tim. Charlene, thank you very much. Um, now I see that uh, Board President Karina Telemontis um, has joined the call. And uh, President Telemontis, if you'd like to join us and say a few words, please feel free. Yes. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone is having a good, good week. As SCOE president, I just want to say thank you so much for your hard work and your commitment to our students and to our families. You really are everyday heroes. And I hope that you take that to heart because if it weren't for you, our students would have, wouldn't have a safe space and a happy place and a comfortable place to go to. So just thank you on behalf of the entire SCOE board for your dedication and your commitment to our students. Thank you very much, President Telemontis. We appreciate you joining us. Now, before we go further and announce our employee of the year, we wanna hear from someone who many of you already know. He's an important part of our team at the Sly Park Environmental Education Center as the lead maintenance worker. James Wagner was unable to join us, but wanted to share what it meant to him to be SCOE's 2021 Classified Employee of the Year. And here's what he said. Thank you so, so much for the wonderful opportunity to serve as SCOE's 2021 Classified Employee of the Year. It's an absolute honor just being noticed for the work I do at the Sly Park Environmental Education Center. From COVID to the Caldor Fire, 2021 has been a wild year. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon, board members, Tim and Charlene. I appreciate your ongoing support and would like to congratulate our 2022 CSEY winner. Thank you, James. And James is right, he had quite a year. Not only was he named SCOE's Employee of the Year, but he and his wife also welcomed their first child in 2021. So double congratulations are in order for James. So like James, our 2022 Classified Employee of the Year will represent SCOE in the Sacramento County Classified Employee of the Year program. This process will include paper screening of the applications by representatives who are from participating districts and from SCOE. All right, Superintendent Gordon, now's the big moment. You've got the secret envelope. Could you please announce the name of the SCOE Classified Employee of the Year for 2022? Just breaking the seal on the envelope now. And I'm pleased and proud to announce that the SCOE Classified Employee of the Year for 2022 is Heather Scott, Infant Educator, Special Education Department. Let's give her, let's give her a nice, nice round of applause. Congra congratulations, congratulations, uh, Heather. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I know I'm quite surprised, so thank you very much. That's, that's outstanding. And, and, and once again, uh, President Talamantes, as I said earlier, I wanted to thank you, uh, Trustee Brown, who's with us today, and, and the board for all, for all of your support. For and all of you other nominees, thank you so, so much for all of the great work that you do. Uh, I, I agree with Trustee Brown. I wish we had five, five awards to, to give out. But uh, with that, Tim, uh, let me throw it back to you to, to close our program. And thanks to, every, thanks to everybody who took the time to tune in and, and, and watch and, 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 and listen in to celebrate uh, with your colleagues. And, and Heather, we're, we're so pleased and proud for you. And good luck as, as you go forth in the county competition for the county uh, classified employee of the year. All right, thank you very much, Superintendent Gordon. And Heather, 
Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we, we close the program? Um, I'm just super honored when I, it's so exciting to be nominated, but then get to hear from the others who are also nominated and the work that you do, it makes it um, even more special to even be considered in this group of people. So thank you very much. Well, congratulations to you, Heather. Uh, it's an honor well-deserved and, and congratulations to all of our nominees. Again, a round of applause for you all. Um, just doing such outstanding work uh, day in and day out. Now, we'll be providing a link to the celebration, so be on the lookout for that. We plan to recognize our Employee of the Year during our Board of Education meeting on May 3rd, and again, at our annual employee recognition event in the fall. Also remember, Classified School Employees Week this year is May 15th through the 21st, so mark your calendars. And Tim, so, before we close, could I, could I also offer thanks to you and Charlene and your team from communications and to Jerry Jones uh, and his, his technology team for all your support for everything that we're doing virtually. And uh, uh, all, all the best, all the best to everybody. Have a great rest, have a great rest of your week. All right, thank you very much, Superintendent Gordon. And again, congratulations to all of our nominees and uh, to all those folks uh, on the call, thank you for joining us and let's celebrate classified employees. All right, take care everybody.